Hey guys, for today's lure, we're going to do a little something different. Now, last summer, I purchased a few of these minnow-style lures, figuring they were walleye in the lake we were fishing, and so these might work for that. And we never did really use them that much, but about a week or so ago, I was out to see a friend, and I knew he was a walleye fisherman, so I took one of them along that I painted, and he goes, man, I really like that. That's just like the shad wrap that I buy. Well, I hadn't really purchased shad wrap, so I wasn't really too certain. But anyway, I left in the lure, came home, pulled one out of the drawer, compared it to shad wraps, and I thought, well, yeah, that does look a lot like a shad wrap. So at that point in time, I was looking at all the patterns, and I happened to come up with one I kind of liked. And that's this one with the blue, got the chartreuse, the little orange in the belly, some gold showing through at top. So I thought for today, what we're going to do is we're going to take this shad wrap style blank and we're going to paint it as best we can to match that color right there. Stick around. So we're going to take this and we're going to see if we can try to mimic that shad wrap pattern just a little bit. We're going to start out, as we always do, with a base coat in this situation, and we're just going to use our opaque white to give us our base coat. All right, there we go. Basic opaque white from the Createx for our base coat. You can still see through a little, won't matter. And we put a dry on that, and we'll start moving on to our colors. As always, we always start with our belly. We work our way up. We needed the yellow or chartreuse on the belly of this. So I thought we'd go ahead and use the Createx Transparent Bright Yellow for the belly. We'll probably go up a ways because we're going to end up covering it back up a little as we go. So we'll just, working from the bottom, just get a good solid coating with the transparent yellow. All right, there we go. Transparent color, about three-fourths the way up. All right, let me dry that, and then we'll move on. Okay, there's our yellow, but now before we move on to the back, we want that it had a slight line of orange on the bottom. So we're going to stick with the Createx Transparent. I've got the transparent orange. Now, earlier I was shooting about 40 pounds of pressure. Because this is so small and I want it so light, I'm going to get down here and I'll put it down to about 15 pounds of pressure. Lower the pressure down so I'm not shooting quite as much. So I just want one small narrow stripe down the belly. Let me get a little bit more on this side. Okay, there we go. Just have enough just to get that faint orange right there on the belly, just a little bit, and that's all we wanted. All right, let me put a dry, and then we're going to move on. All right. We have our yellow, have our orange here. Now remember this had a blue back, but it also had some, I think, goldish or colored markings. So we need to put a base on first before we do the blue. I'm going to go with the pearlized copper. I'm going to use copper instead. And we're going to put that right down the back now. All right, there we go. Got my yellow, got my copper. Now I'm gonna have to put a wrap on this, so before I do that, as always, we're gonna make sure we get this really good and dry before we try putting a wrap on it. All right, we're ready for the next step. It's all dried, we're ready to put our wrap on. Now, for this wrap, I'm gonna use this material here, picked up at the fabric section at Walmart, and I'm not sure even what it's, I'm sure it's got a, a name there in the fabric section, but I'm not even sure what they call it. Um, 
it has the holes in it but everybody uses this to try to make it look like scales but the holes tend to be a little horizontal they're not perfectly round they're a little oval so when I put this on I want to make sure the oval stuff goes sideways with the lure and not up and down I think it makes it a little better if it's that way so all we're going to do is lay this over the top and as always we just want to get it clamp down as tight as we can and we'll get my uh, hairbreadth holders here that I always use get another one here on the back side and that appears to have me nice and tight alright so there we go we're tight on the back and let's move on to the next step and for this, we're going to use the Createx Pearlized Blue to give us that blue effect that was on the back. Pull some stuff up here real quick. Load the gun. Alright. We're going to shoot straight down the back. We want to drift down a little on the sides, but we don't want to cover up any of that yellow, so we're going to stay right in the middle of the back. Light coats. I'm putting out probably more air than I am paint. But I want to put lighter coats and then come back and do it a little heavier. Alright, I think that'll do us right there. That's going to do us. Let me dry that, and then we'll go ahead and take the wrap off and see where we stand. We are ready to take off our wrap. Get that all off, get a grip. And there we go. We'll see if we can... Let me zoom in a little bit on this, if I can do that, get you a little better look at it. And there we go, we have our chartreuse, our orange belly. And you can see the gold, or in this case, I guess it's the copper coming through on top, and the blue. Now there's a few more other details, a few more other colors in the, in the shad wrap. I don't think we're going to get into all that one. We got our basic, we basically matched the shad wrap with this anyway. We're going to put a pair of eyes in it. We'll put our two-piece epoxy top coat on it. And then we'll show you what we got when we get it all done. Well, there we go, guys. There is our shad wrap imitation. We've got the pearlized blue on top, the chartreuse on the sides, just the slightest on the orange belly. We didn't get into all the little white or black details, but we do have the basic shad wrap imitation hey thanks for sticking with me subscribe to our channel if you would hope to see you again real soon